Hey there, welcome back to another video. Yunus Shafir is here, and always in the series about cotton for beginners, we are going to learn about exceptions, how you can throw them and cut them. Let's get started. As always with an empty project, let's try first. First, you can catch any exception with try and catch block, normally as you do in Java. Okay, let's try to try block like that. And here you can catch it, you can catch any exception. For example, we will catch the null pointer exception. The way you write exception is the same as Java, you specify the exception and its type. Here I'm going to catch the null pointer exception, like that. In Java, you have to write this first, then this. But in Kotlin, we reverse the types. Let's try to declare A, which is a string, a null string, and let's give it null. And then A, let's try to access the leg directly with this expression and print it, for example. Now, this for sure will raise an exception. Now, we will catch it here. With this will simply mean if this code throw an exception we we'll specify this is a null pointer exception, we will handle it here. Let's say, for example, print exception throw. Let's run it. You will see here, it will print exception throw. And if you make it like that, for example, A, simple A, the length will be one, it will write one. So this is how we can catch it. If you catch something else, let's, for example, catch number format exception, for example, which is not the exception raised here. Let's do this not. We'll have an error, we'll have an exception raised here, exactly, null pointer exception. So you have to specify the exact exception. Or you can make it general, everything in Kotlin inherit from the throne. This one, from Kotlin. Okay, if you catch it with this general one, it will say exception throne. But sometimes we want to handle the exception type exactly. So maybe this code will produce three different exceptions. We want to handle each exception alone. Okay, you can do that exactly by writing another catch block or another exception like that, which is number format exception, or pointer exception, and let's add one for, for example, something else. Now, let's try to make this work. If you try this, it will print null pointer because it will catch here. And let's say we want to do something else. Let's say we want to convert, for example, AB to an int. This will produce an exception, but it will produce format exception. If you try to do something else, you can just throw exception just like that. You can use throw and, for example, illegal state exception or argument exception. You can write here the message you want, message from, and run it. You will see it will print general exception. You can access the element of this exception or the properties of this exception using the exception itself. Let's print the exception dot the message or localized message and run it you will see here it will print message from this one this is how you can work with exception you can throw them you can use try and different catch you can also use the finally after this or this you will do this whatever happens if the try block succeed run this finally code if the catch block succeed run this finally code. okay you can do it here another thing to mention that try is an expression. It can return types. For example, you can give it a value of an int like that. Let's make this int nullable int like that. And you give it e. And if this happens correctly, we will return, for example, return three. Or if this exception happened, we will return, for example, five. Well, we don't, we don't need the return here. This in function and just run it. Well, we have to delete this. If everything's go well, this int will have the value of three. Otherwise, it will have the value of five. Or for example, we can give it the value of null because this is a nullable type. If you delete that, well, you'll have this problem. You have to give it an exact value, not a null value. Okay, you can give it minus one, like that. So the main idea here that try catch is an expression. It can return things. The last thing I want to mention here is that the throw will produce something called the nothing. If you declare something A, for example, and give it a null. What is A? What is the type of A? A simply is nothing, is nothing, okay? So when working with the throw like that, if you throw something, let's throw illegal state exception or argument exception, hello, and let's make it into a function. For example, function like that. And here, 
this function you can mark it as it returns nothing and this will simply work this basically will mean that this function is unreachable it will produce something which is the nothing okay so if you always if you throw things the return type is nothing you can use this nothing to mark the, that this function will never return so this is it we used many things of null here you can always watch the video of null type and null safety in this channel also thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe i really appreciate it and have a great day